Hi, I am Hugo Madeira and in this short video I will be sharing one of the most important steps of our clinical practice. Let's talk about how to plan a smile. Motivate your patients. There are three patient-related key factors. Satisfaction, understanding and memory. A medical consultation is limited, with patients forgetting 40 to 80% of the information given. As you know, we absorb 50% of what we hear and see and 70% of what we say. That is why it's so important to talk with our patients and to take enough time for them to understand our treatment plan. Smile design is one of the key elements for diagnosis and treatment planning. So, let's see where to start. The bead line, smile curve and height are factors that guide the evaluation and design of a smile. Although we know the proportion of teeth, it's not always easy to capture the ideal photo. So, first of all, let's start by doing our photo protocol. It's very important to make our photographic protocol in the first appointment so we can register the initial situation and to make possible the digital smile design. Despite the importance of photos, the beauty of a smile and the dynamic integration of teeth, gingiva, lips and face are also a result from motion. Therefore, a video protocol should also be necessary. With all data collected, we start designing the smile that we and the patient pretend. So, let's do it! Digital photography and intraoral imaging devices have dramatically improved clinicians' ability to quickly and easily document patients' intraoral conditions, using a monitor to be able to clearly demonstrate to patients their oral health. A developed and evolved computer design software has become a powerful tool for showing patients the possibilities for improving their smiles. By understanding the aesthetic elements and learning how to incorporate technology applications into clinical dentistry, clinicians can predictably plan smile design and communicate results with patients. We usually say that a picture is worth a thousand words, so for the patient possibility to visualize what we say, it's the best way to catch their attention. So when I allow my patients to analyze the image of their smile, I can directly understand what the patient likes or dislikes. This, for one hand, makes our job easier because we can understand better which are their goals. On the other hand, the patient can establish a more closest relation with us. Other great thing is the possibility that the patient sees the digital mock-up designed and personalized for them. They can predict the final result and see if it's what they desire before moving on and accept the treatment plan. So now we already have the, the, the pictures in the software, so we will start to mark the, the pupil lines and the smile lines. Just to make a 2D smile design, just to motivate your patient to yeah. do the treatment and for him to see how it works in reality. And in this case, we use the, the curve of the, the lower lip and we try to equilibrate the, the, the upper smile with that curve. Yeah, and then it's important to match the teeth because this patient has diastemus. Yeah, and we, we try to match the right proportion yeah. with our face. And we have a library that is already done mm -hmm. and we can use the library to, yeah. to plan the smile and then personalize it. Yeah, we can customize um, each teeth or not if you want you can but uh, yes you choose of course this, this is only to motivate the patient as yeah, you said yeah. and right because then in the in the lab when we when we want to to have a 3d uh, model model the 3d wax up yep. will be more correct yeah th this will be for planning the re yeah. rehabilitation. This is just for communicate with the patient to make yeah. it simpler. Then we will show to the patient yeah. what we did yeah. and explain all the steps of the treatment. Of course. 
And I think it's very important to show the patient the, the case and also to show the infrared scan because the patient understands the, the, understand better the initial situation. And for example, he can see the, the occlusal view, a thing that he never, never so saw before. We have our smile planned and designed. Yeah. We Let's go and show it to the patient. Show it to the patient. Yeah. Smile analysis and smile design generally involve a compromise between two factors that are often contradictory. The aesthetic desires of the patient and the dentist and the patient anatomics and physiologic limitation. Aesthetic smile design is a multifactorial decision-making process that allows the clinician to treat patients with individualized, interdisciplinary approach. Patients do not have much ability to absorb all the information and advice regarding the treatment plan as it would be expected from a dentist. As a result, it's important to know the ways to better understand and to better explain the treatment plan to our cases. Patients report that the lack of visualization of their treatment plan puts them into a discomfortable position, followed by fear and loss of independence. However, patients report that a lack of visualization of their treatment plan results put them in a discomfortable position, followed by fear. However, patients reported that being able to see their final result gives them a peace of mind. An image is worth a thousand words and the best way for patients to accept treatment plan is by seeing how their smile will be before starting the treatment. If you really want to motivate your patients and make the communication an easy pathway, now you know how to do it in a more effective way.